All right, see what else we got. I think these are tool testing. I had to guess. Let's see, what's this little dinky thing here? Something small. Light. Probably old and expensive. See you how this stuff goes. Yes, military surplus bag. I Means it fits something in the 40s. Probably a 45 part of some part, some type. I need a rock. Oh, looks like a bearing race. Must be for an early bike. 30s. Uh, let's see what we got here. Clutch dry sprocket bearing outer. <clears throat> yes. Nice part. <clears throat> I'll show you in a minute. All right, we're back. Okay, so this should be a clutch hub bearing race for a 33 to 40, 45 RL, WL, and it also is what the WR is used on their clutch. So it fits all the way through 52 on a WR. So yeah, this one looks like it's good, not rusty. It's got some Cosmoline still on it. That's that gooey crap you're looking at there. So I'm thinking that's still pretty well coated, so I'm not going to do anything with it. It's in an aluminized uh, package here that they did on some stuff. That me easy means this was repackaged in the 50s to get that in there. Because that's post-war when they started doing that stuff. Yeah, repacked December of 54. Somebody wanted five bucks for it. I'll guarantee I paid more than that for it. So yeah, see the military needed work to do after Korea, so they repacked World War II parts. That's what they did. You'll find used parts, junk parts, and all inside a new packaging. It's really fun when you buy this stuff. So yeah, nice part. Glad to have it.